there's something I wanted to talk about and it's to do with breakups it's not something that is often mentioned not often acknowledged and I think one of the reasons that people don't talk about it and acknowledge it is because there's a point when your friends and family despite doing their best they're sick and tired of seeing you moping around you're heartbroken trying to drag your ass through every day fucking gutted that you woke up in the morning and people are trying to get on with their lives around you and your life stopped and you're just feeling isolated what's the point what's the purpose nothing has a meaning everything is misunderstood and you've no idea what your future is anymore because the one you had planned has been pulled out from under your feet and that hurts that's fucked up but that that's not what I want to talk to you about every relationship breakup comes in two stages there's two parts to every breakup and today I'm, I'm talking to a particular group of people because there's the day that you're told the day that you find out and then at some point down the line there's the day you realized you were just the last person to know and what I mean by that is your breakup happened on the day they told you that their breakup happened weeks and months years before they were waiting for the right opportunity to tell you that you'd broken up with them while you were making plans and they were agreeing to plans there's a point where you realize they already had everything in place to walk out to leave it's not a random occurrence it's a really well thought out plan despite everything they've said everything they told you everything you believed they left a long time ago and there's a point where you're going to realize no matter how hard you've tried it was already too late because they'd already left they emotionally tapped out a long time ago you were just a convenience and a tool that got them through the day paid the bills Maybe you fixed a car, bought them a new one, took them on holiday. And you will know the extent to which they lied to your face every single day. No one else can tell you how that's going to make you feel. No one else can, has the right to tell you how that's going to feel. I'm just letting you know that it is a thing people just don't like to talk about it can hurt sometimes more than the original breakup especially if you can pinpoint a time if you can reflect back and you become just aware of the lies the extent of the lies what's worse if, if they had a really good exit plan well executed and they've got somewhere else to live or they're already with somebody all the finances are in place the lawyers are all sorted you really do realise you were just a pawn in a game they, they played with you they literally played with your life your feelings, your heart, everything people around you won't understand why this hurts so much people around you won't understand why this is the worst kick and it affects everybody differently for what it's worth I am sorry that you're experiencing this right now 
I am sorry if you're listening to this and this is what you're going through. I am sorry because I know how much it hurts when you realise that there was a two stages to the breakup and that they broke up with you a long time ago. And while you were loving them, while you were committed to them, while you were striving to build the best future for each other, they broke up with you. They didn't tell you. They might have even told their friends, but they didn't tell you. And all the while you thought everything was fine, all the while you were doing your best. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I know how much it hurts. I know how vulnerable it makes you feel. I know how vulnerable you are. And I do understand. But I don't want you to quit. I don't want you to give up. Right now, I want you to do whatever you need to do to wake up tomorrow morning. Listen to this again if you have to. Get through the night, get through to tomorrow. Be angry. Be ashamed. All those feelings are real, they all have a place. But whatever you do, stay out of harm's way. Whatever you do, focus on the best future for yourself and make the sensible decisions today. Now stay out of harm's way. Don't do anything that gets you into trouble. Focus on waking up tomorrow. And I promise you. I promise. You will heal. You will get better. And it may not feel like that is possible right now. But it is. It is possible and it's possible to feel love again. It's possible to be loved again. It's possible to be happier again. It's all possible. You just have to stay here. You have to just remain a part of life's game. So, pick yourself up. Take care of yourself. And we'll all see you tomorrow.